Step four, seeing and being seen. To maintain control of your vehicle, you have to see and understand what's around you and have plenty of time to respond. But driving in winter conditions means reduced visibility and less time to perceive a hazard. In a snowstorm, your ability to see outside your vehicle is impaired because the falling snow partially reduces the amount of light coming in. You can't see as clearly or as far ahead. So if there's a problem, you don't see it as soon. Your reaction time may stay the same, but your perception time is reduced. Your visibility can also be seriously impaired by whiteout conditions. This happens when wind-blown loose snow engulfs your vehicle and seems to blend in with the surroundings. Everything around you is white and your brain temporarily loses the capacity to distinguish the foreground from the background. Visibility can be further reduced if it's snowing at night. Headlights reflecting off the falling snow can cause a glare. In the case of light fluffy snow, the reflection of your headlights can create a hypnotic effect that may distract you and increase your mental fatigue. Sometimes your visibility can be reduced in the bright light of day when there is no bad weather. Your eyes are normally set for a brightness value of up to 10,000 lux. On a sunny winter day, this luminance can be 10 times greater than what your eye was designed to handle. Glare this bright can put enormous strain on your eyes. It can lead to fatigue and lower your ability to concentrate. Winter driving conditions reduce your ability to see and understand what you see. And because your visibility is reduced, so is your perception time. Reduced perception time may cause you to break suddenly, which can send you into a skid. Ensure you have plenty of time to anticipate possible problems so you don't have to act suddenly. Give yourself time to anticipate problems by first knowing how far it takes to stop your vehicle. You should be able to see well past your stopping distance. If your range of visibility isn't greater than your stopping distance, you are virtually traveling blind. In winter, your visibility is going to be reduced, but you can maintain control of your vehicle by adjusting your driving practices. Do what you can to make sure you can see outside the vehicle. Before starting your trip, clean off the entire vehicle, windshield, mirrors, and all the windows. Wipe off the headlights, brake lights, taillights, and turn signals so that others can see you. This is especially important if your vehicle is equipped with LED lights. These type of lights do not emit heat, so they cannot melt snow or ice. You may have to stop to do this frequently during a heavy storm. These few extra minutes could save your life. Be sure to clear the top of your trailer of any snow or ice, as it could land on someone else's vehicle and impair their road vision. Road splatter can also leave you blind. Use your windshield washer often. To prevent your windshield from freezing up, Use antifreeze solution that's right for the average winter temperatures in your area. Don't dilute it. That will weaken its effectiveness. At highway speeds, objects will come into your field of vision suddenly, so keep your eyes moving. Check your mirrors every 5 to 8 seconds and scan the road in front of you. At higher speeds, your peripheral vision will be greatly reduced, so you need to scan with your central vision to activate your peripheral vision. When you're driving in dense fog or heavy snow, keep your lights on low beam and reduce your speed. Make sure your stopping distance is always within your range of vision. If your vehicle is equipped with fog lights, use them. When glare is bad, make sure you optimize your visibility by wearing polarized sunglasses with ultraviolet protection. And remember, other drivers are most likely experiencing the same visibility problems that you are. So give them a chance to see you. Drive with your full headlights on and always use your directional signals. If you're traveling at less than 75% of the posted speed limit or have begun downshifting in anticipation of a need to brake, consider putting on your four ways to alert drivers behind you that you're reducing speed. Visibility is a matter of seeing and being seen. Give yourself the chance to anticipate problems by seeing them well in advance and give other drivers the chance to anticipate what you're doing. To see other road users in time to prevent a collision, we need information as early as we can get it. If we slow down a bit and increase our eye lead time, 
we can get the information early and take the necessary action to deal with the situation. Keep extra space out in front of you and an empty space beside you if possible. You can't control the weather, but you can control your speed and adjust your driving practices. For more safe driving resources and to find out how IHSA can help your company, visit IHSA.ca. IHSA. Work safe for life.